Hi, I'm Mike Pavlik from Amatech Dynamic Fluid Solutions. Today I'm going to show you how to change the brushes on one of our Lam Electric 6.6 and 8.4 motors. To get started, you'll need the following tools. A number 20 Torx driver, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, crimping pliers, a pick or a hook tool, and a brush replacement kit. To get started, place the motor on a flat work surface and disconnect the leads from the power source. If the motor has a filter housing, remove the screw holding the housing and set it aside for reuse. For 6.6 motors, there are three screws at the top of the motor that are going to need to be removed, including the ground screw and ground wire. Changing the brushes on both of these motors is similar. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to change the brushes on the 8.4 motor. For the 8.4 motors, there are two screws at the top of the motor. Be sure to leave the ground screw attached to the metal cover and set the cover aside. This will give you access to the inside of the motor and its carbon brushes. Use a pick or hook tool to pull the spring off the back of the brush and into the retaining slot of the bracket. Slide the old brush out of the slot in the bracket and gently pull it away from the motor so you can cut the copper brush shunt near the used brush. Discard the used carbon. Attach a new brush shunt to the old shunt using the crimp splice supplied in the kit. Using compressed air, remove any carbon and dirt from the inside of the motor. You might want to consider using a respirator and safety glasses to protect yourself from the debris being blown out of the motor. Make sure that the white brush insert is in place and the brush spring is located in the retaining slot on the bracket. Slide the new brush into place, moving the spring into the slot on the back of the brush. Be sure to reposition the brush shunt so that it does not short on the commutator or the field laminations as the brush wears. The shunt must be able to move with the brush as it wears and not get caught on any obstructions. Repeat this procedure on the brush on the other side of the motor. After both brushes are replaced and the shunts are positioned correctly, the motor cover and the filter housing can be replaced. For 6.6 motors, place the plastic motor cover over the motor with the power wires going through the slot in the cover, being careful not to pinch the wires between the cover and the bracket. Attach the ground wire to the metal bracket through the large hole on the cover, and attach the motor cover to the filter housing, routing all of the wiring through the center of the filter housing. For 8.4 motors, place the metal cover over the motor with the power wires going through the rubber gaskets in the cover, being careful not to pinch the wires between the motor cover and the bracket. Install the motor cover screws. Route all the wiring through the center of the filter housing and install the filter housing screw. After both new brushes are installed, you'll want to run the motors at half voltage for 30 to 45 minutes. We do that by using two motors. Take one lead from each motor and connect it. Then take the other two leads and wire them to a power source. By doing this, half the voltage will be dropped across each motor. Once the heat run has been performed, the motor is ready to reinstall in the unit. And that's how you change the brushes on Lam Electric 6.6 and 8.4 motors.